Hi guys, welcome to Learning Science the Easy Way. It is your favorite teacher, Kaoma Jim Mwansa. Many other times, let us find it difficult to interpret the speed time graph and as well as the calculations that are involved whenever you are dealing with the speed time graph. So in this video, I'm going to discuss on how you can interpret the speed time graph and how you can calculate acceleration, deceleration, and as well as the total distance that is covered. So we have this question here, which is saying the diagram shows a speed time graph of a car moving along a straight road. So this is the diagram which we have. So this diagram shows the speed time graph of a car that is moving along a straight road. So the first question here that we have is uh, A saying, find the acceleration of the car in the first 15 seconds. Then the second one that we have is find the acceleration of the car in the last 20 seconds. Then we have another question which is saying, find the total distance traveled by the car. So we have to find the total distance that is traveled by the car. So first of all, before we, we calculate the acceleration and also calculate the total distance, we have to interpret this graph to understand where acceleration is and which one is the total distance and as well as which one is the acceleration in the last 20 seconds. So when you look at the diagram, we have this slope which shows acceleration. Then we also have this one which shows deceleration. And this one shows constant speed constant speed so let's look at the first question which is saying find the acceleration in the first 15 seconds so we find the acceleration in the first 15 seconds so in order to calculate acceleration you are supposed to have the final velocity and as well as the initial velocity and the time taken so our final velocity is five meters per second. Then our initial, which is zero meters per second. Then the time taken, it's been given 15 seconds, which is going to give us five meters per second, pi by 15 seconds. And this will give us zero point three three meters per second squared as our acceleration so we can also calculate the acceleration in the last 20 seconds so that is our b so acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity when you divide by t so our final, since in the last 20 seconds, our final velocity is zero because the object is coming to rest. Then the initial, that is five meters per second. Then the time taken, that is 20 seconds. So this will give us negative 5 meters per second divided by 20 seconds. This will give us negative 0 0.25 meters per second squared as the acceleration in the last 20 seconds. So question C is saying you calculate the total distance traveled the total distance traveled so the total distance traveled basically this is the area 
the area under the graph. This is the area under the graph. So we are talking about this area, which is under the graph. This is the total distance that is traveled. So in order for us to calculate the total distance traveled, we have first of all split this graph into three. So the first part is going to be this, which is forming a right angled triangle. Forming a right angled triangle. So this right angled triangle, so from here to there, from here to here we have, so this is 15, then the height that is five meters per second so in short we have half 15 times 5 so this is going to give us 37.5 okay then the other part is this here which is forming a rectangle forming something of this nature so this one we have 40 times 5 which is giving us 200 so that is this area and that height then the last one again it is forming a right angle triangle so from here to there that is 20 then we have five there so this is giving us half so 20 times 5 which is equal to 50. so from there we are going to add this and that and that that we've gotten so we're going to set it 7.5 plus 200 plus 50 and this will give us 287.5 meters so in short our total distance traveled is equal to 287.5 meters as the total distance traveled okay so we can also look at this similar scenario so i'm going to be underlining some of the key key points so this one says a car starts from rest on a straight road the car accelerates at a constant rate for 30 seconds reaching a speed of 20 meters per second the car travels at a constant speed of 20 meters per second for k seconds the car finally decelerates at a constant rate coming to rest in further 20 seconds so the questions now follows saying sketch a speed time graph b find the acceleration in the first 30 seconds c given that the distance traveled is 1.1 kilometers find the value of k so the first question here is asking us to sketch the speed time graph so in order for us to sketch the speed time graph so we are going to have the x-axis we have the y-axis there so our y-axis is going to be the speed then the x is going to be the time so from there the question is saying the car started from rest 
on a straight road, the car accelerates at a constant rate for 30 seconds, reaching a speed of 20 meters per second. So this will be our 20. So it started from rest, it reached this speed. So after reaching that speed, so meaning for 30 seconds, thereafter it moved with the constant speed for k seconds. So with the constant speed for k seconds. So this one is 30 plus k for k seconds. And then it further decelerates at the constant constant rate coming to rest in further 20 seconds. So in further 20 seconds, we are going to have a 50 here plus k. 50 plus k. So that will be our speed time graph. That is going to be our speed time graph. Then from there, we can calculate. So this is our A. We go to B. Then from there, we are going to calculate the acceleration. The acceleration, the first 30 seconds. So we have the final velocity is 20 meters per second then the initial zero meters per second time taken 30 seconds and that is going to, to give us 20 meters per second divided by 30 seconds so this will give us 0 0.67 meters per second squared. So that is going to be our acceleration. So we have the graph there. We also have the acceleration. So the other question is saying, given that the distance traveled is 1.1 kilometers, find the value of K. So we have to find the value of k. But before we find the value of k, first of all, this distance given is given in kilometers. And when you look at the question here and the speed that has been given, it is given in meters. So meaning we have to convert the kilometers into meters. So in 1.1 kilometers, there are 1 1100 meters so meaning you multiply the 1.1 kilometers with 1000 which will give you 1100 so meaning our total distance covered is 1100 meters so let's try to find the value of k so in order for us to calculate the the value of k given the total distance traveled we are going to split the graph into three so we have this part and this part and as well as the other part so now this part from here to here it's 30 this one from here to here that is k then from here to there, that is 20. So in short, what we are trying to say here is that the total distance is equal to half 30 times 20 plus k times 20 plus half 20 times 20. 
says equal to so when you multiply this will give you 300 plus 20k plus 200 equal to the total distance which is 1100 we group the like terms so we have 20k plus 500 equal to 1100 so this one will go the other side when it crosses the equal sign the sign changes so we have 20k which is equal to 1100 minus 500 which is equal to 20k is equal to 600 divided by 20 divided by 20 so you cancel there here you cancel so k will be equal to 30 seconds thank you very much for watching i hope you followed through